What's up guys? What's going on? Today, I'm gonna be doing a video about um, advice for incoming sophomores from yours truly. I know how hard it is, you know, for me graduating from high school. I know how hard it is to like go into high school and it's scary. Like I'm going to university, like that's even scarier, you know? It's all about a learning curve. And I mean, I'm just here to let you guys know from my personal experience and what I think will help you guys in high school. Um, but if this is gonna be like a like, get ready with me, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm actually gonna try this like new brush set. I don't know, from Real Techniques. I don't know, it's like a buffing brush, a contour brush, a defining brush. I'm gonna see if I can, I never conceal my eyebrows, but I'm actually gonna try it today. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go through 10 pieces of advice from me to sophomores from me. So we're gonna get on with the video. And I'm gonna prep with some, I don't know. It's called Ducre Cracknel? Cracknel. 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 Cracknel Control. Cream reduces the look of blackheads and spots. Mm. Yeah. I wish I could play music in the background, but the whole copyright thing is so stupid. I just want to play my favorite tunes without getting copyrighted, okay? Rub this all in. This stuff is so nice. Um, actually, a couple days ago, I tried doing this like blackhead mask. It's somewhere here. Um, and <laughs> I made like holes over here. Like I made like little indents into my skin because I tried peeling it off and then it wouldn't come off. So I had to take one of these, those like scrubber exfoliant gloves. Really dumb idea. I know. Don't even ask me why I did that. But I just really wanted it off because I was scared that it was gonna come off. So. I started scrubbing my skin. It was mostly like over here. So I was scrubbing it and now it like really hurts when I put anything on my skin, but this stuff's like really helping. Um, I'm trying to like get rid of my blackheads and stuff. This is gonna apparently help with that. Which is really, really nice. So I'm really excited to not have any blackheads. But now I have big pores, which I don't want. Okay, I don't want big pores. So I guess now that we've prepped our skin, oh yeah, I've been using this tool, it's a derm thing. Um, if you guys know Tati Westbrook, she actually has one of these. Um, I went to Marshalls when I went to New York City. We flew out of Bangor. And I went to Marshalls to see if I could find anything. I was like, oh Marshalls, whatever. Next thing you know, I go to Marshalls and I get like, I, there's like Sephora makeup there. So there's like the Anastasia sculpture kit and I have like, um, some lipstick that I got from like Anastasia, Beverly Hills. It's in the shade Ashton and it's really, really nice. It looks really good and it stays on like really well. But if you kick it on, it's not, you know, it won't do justice. But it was like $7.99 and the palette was like $12.99. Like what? Usually products like that at Sephora are like 20 to 40 bucks and I'm like, mm, just kidding. I am, um, I'm, I'm good. Oh yeah, we should probably get into the video, like the facts and stuff. So the first advice from yours truly, Keila Berry, is um, just because you're not a freshman anymore doesn't mean that you're all that. So just because you are um, a sophomore and it's your second year in high school doesn't mean you have to act like you're the coolest shit ever. Because you're not. No one is at the school, you know? Like even if you're grade 12, like it doesn't really matter. Of course, you're like, oh, I'm grade 12 in the line. Like you guys look up to me alone. No one, no one is the shit in high school, because that's high school. The second one, um, if a freshman needs help, help them. Like, you were in their shoes last year, so remember that. Like, you were in the same positions. If they can't find a class, show them to their class before you go to yours if, if it's on the way. You know, if they look lost, ask them what's up, you know? Like, it doesn't hurt to be nice. Like, just because you, you know what I mean? Like I said with the first one, just because you're not a freshman anymore doesn't mean you're all that. So I don't, I don't bounce like that. You should either. So with being in grade 10, being a sophomore, this is number three, by the way. It's not a bad time to think about what you want to do with your life. Um, you don't necessarily have to start looking for colleges, but maybe figure out if you even want to go to college or like just figure out like what you want to do. Um, ever since I was in grade nine, I wanted to do something medical because I thought it was really, 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 really cool. I started in grade, in grade nine. I was like, hey, medical school is probably where it's at. All right, number four, 
take driver's ed, even if you don't need to drive anywhere yet. Junior year, you might want a job, so having the ability to drive yourself will help you mature, you know, help you like be more independent and um, grow up. But plus, having the freedom to drive yourself places is awesome because you can do whatever you want. If you need space, you can probably just you know, get, your, get yourself a car, get your license, you know, be safe. Get your parents to trust you as much as possible because sophomore year is when you're going to want to hang out with your friends. You're going to want to go out and do stuff. So if your parents don't trust you, they won't give you as much freedom. And if you've already lost your trust, good luck. Number six. If you don't or can't get your license, find an upperclassman to befriend um, and ask them for rides. They most likely will give you one, but don't be friends with them just for a ride because that's rude. So be friends with them first. And don't fake the friendship. Like that's that's rude. You know, like actually like want to be their friend. Number seven, if you didn't get involved in freshman year, it's not too late. So Getting involved with your school and getting involved with like uh, sports and activities. Like I did drama, volleyball. Um, I did outside at school activities. I did like t I taught dance with my mom's dance school. Like I did a lot of stuff around. I volunteered a little bit. I went to their football games and I watched their football games. You know, like just go and get involved because if you don't, you might regret it because you want to make memories. Your grades in sophomore year do matter, so. Yeah, because college doesn't just look at your um, your junior and senior years, like grade 11 and 12. They look at all four years, so make sure to do your best with your schooling at all times because they just they don't look for your last two years, they look for the full year to see how you like how you, how you progressed and stuff like that. Sophomore year is where no one is really watching your every move, waiting for you to fail. So um, it's one of those years where no one really cares uh, what you do. So do what you want because you might be judged or made fun of it a little bit, but it's not going to leave anyone with a lasting impression. So dating an upperclassman doesn't make you cool. So next one, start thinking about what classes you want to take in junior year because uh, I know at our school they actually give you guys like pamphlets and they bring you to one class they're like hey so here are your courses that you are going to need to pick for your next classes for next year so because they'll take you in and they'll ask what classes you want they'll put you in and um, it's it's we were really organized but i mean start thinking about it now start thinking about what you want to do with your life i know it's really young and i know that it's really young to kind of figure what you want to do with the rest of your life for the next like 40 30 years but life I guess I mean you have to do it at some point might as well do it now so this is really big mental health days are important if you're stressed to the max ask for a day off or just to, to like distress or for a chill day because it's so worth it like I know that we do have a guidance office at my school and it's the best like if you need to just distress and just relax for a bit because you're gonna lose your mind then you can go there for like 10 or 20 minutes just to like relax don't like use it for the wrong reasons like don't just go because you want to hang out don't just go because you just want to get out of class because you hate the class like use it for the right reasons and don't abuse it because if you do everyone will catch on they'll abuse it and then it won't be available to your school so if there is a guidance office use it to your advantage and i know that when you go to a guidance office you're like oh my god people are, people are going to see me in there and they're going to think that i'm like something's wrong with me or whatever Everyone has problems. Guaranteed, 90% of the school has anxiety. Like, anxiety is a very common thing that everyone has. Some people think that they don't have it. Some people know that they have it. You know, people have they have medication to help them with it. Some people have therapy. Some people go and get help for that. So, I mean, I know it's hard to try and fit in when you're just getting into high school, but we all fit in. Don't let your mind get to you because then that sucks, and then you're creating more problems for yourself, right? No matter what, like no matter how hard things get, you'll get through it, like it's it's gonna be okay. I mean, there'll be times where you're stressed to the max with, I'm trying a new controversial question, but hold on. let's just hold on. I just need to tell you guys a story. I have been wanting this brush 
for the longest time. Like the longest time, okay? I've, I've been looking at it ever since I've been going to my work and I'm gonna try it out and I think I'm gonna fall in love with it. figure out myself. It's very controlled. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I worked in the guidance office for my, um, like my uh, senior year of high school. Uh, it was a co-op thing that we, um, that I took. I actually opted, opted out of psychology and then I went into co-op because I thought it would be a really good breather because I had, I did fast tracking. What fast tracking is at our school is three pre-calculus courses in a matter of two years. So I did two calculus courses in grade 11 and then I did, I think one, no, two math courses in grade 11, two math courses in grade 12. So, um, yeah. But, I mean, I kind of struggled through it, but I really, if you put your mind to it for high school, I feel like it's easy. Not not saying easy as in, oh, like I'm just so smart and I like I know that I'll be able to make it. It's university, I'm gonna make a prediction. I feel like university is gonna be more of a time management. The work's not gonna be difficult, difficult, but I feel like university is gonna be a lot of workload. You have to um, do a lot of time management and I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time with that because I, I procrastinate like no other. So that's gonna be great. I'm so excited. All in all, high school, it's gonna be a different transition. You know, if, if freshmen, if you're watching me, like my biggest fear when I moved here in grade six was, am I gonna fit in? I'm from a big city. I'm from Ottawa, you know, like, you know what I mean? I just felt like I wasn't gonna fit in because here, you look at girls that don't like you. Maybe they're jealous of you, you know? Like, I mean, you're just not gonna have to deal with it. I mean, sometimes girls get the bad, like the worst impressions of you. Like, you don't even mean to give them a bad impression, but you maybe did something wrong to them and you didn't notice it, but they really noticed it and they just kept a grudge on you. With me, I had to really boost my confidence up and wear whatever I wanted. I wore makeup how I wanted to wear it. I wore whatever I wanted to wear because that was me. Um, the next thing you know, I graduated high school <laughs> with a superlative of best dressed because I didn't care, you know. Um, I tried to dress to the top tens. Of course, I'm from Ottawa. I'm from a city, you know. They have the best trends. But besides that, I mean, uni university is going to be so different for me. And I feel like I look at the high school and I'm like, even though I haven't even stepped into the university and I just hot off the press, straight got out of high school. You know, I guess this is more like a rant, like a talk to me while I get ready, slash like advice. It's gonna be difficult for people who feel like they're not gonna fit in, and that's okay. You don't have to fit in. You don't have to fit in, like you don't have to do that. You can be your own person, and that's cool, you know? Even though you don't have a car, maybe, that's fine. You'll get to that point. Don't rush your life because you wanna feel cool. Don't rush your, don't rush everything. Just live in the moment because next thing you know, you're not gonna be in high school anymore. Next thing you know, you're gonna have a job. Next thing you know, you're gonna have a family and, and a dog and a nice house. You know, like, you just have to live to the fullest, do your thing, join clubs, really join clubs. Like, I mean, really do it, like get involved. Get on your good, teacher's good side because they'll, they'll, if the teachers don't like you, they'll probably, if you ask for help, they probably won't give you the full effect, like the full help. Um, but besides that, like, just try your best. That's all I gotta say. Do you guys think I should go ahead and try and vlog my university life? I think that would be a great idea. Cause I will. I don't mind it. Maybe like my first impressions of like university, and, like, what it's like, and like you guys can ask me questions. I've been trying to do this YouTube thing. And I would love to get started. I love that. I love helping people. That's why I want to be a doctor. That's why I want to be a dermatologist, right? It's because I want to help people, especially with self-confidence. That's a really big thing for me. Like self-confidence is where it's at. You know, like self-confidence is everything to me because you don't, if you don't have self-confidence then you're just going to be upset with yourself for the rest of your life. Self-confidence is really good because it, I don't know. Self, how do I explain this? Self-confidence is how you feel about yourself. It's how you feel. Like you want to look at me and be like, "Well, I look good. Well, I look 
good, you know? Like you wanna boost yourself up, but it's not being narcissistic. It's not being full of yourself. It's being happy with yourself. There's a difference. And you can tell I'm getting really emotional and really upset about this because during high school, when I was in high school, people thought I was full of myself. People thought that I thought that I was the sh But I'm not. I'm just happy with what I got, you know? Like I, it all comes with personality, it all, it all comes with how you're brought up, it all comes down to what you think about yourself. And I just feel like it's really important to have good self-confidence, because if you don't, then you're just going to be upset for the rest of your life. You gotta love yourself before you love someone else. Cheesy, cliche, but it's the truth. I just feel like everyone should be comfortable in their own skin. I feel like everyone should be happy with who they are, because if not, they'll probably attack someone else to make them feel like shit so they feel better. Which I had never really understood why. I never really understood why people would put other people down to make them feel better. That does not make me feel better. That makes me feel more shitty because I hurt someone else, you know? I don't know why people do that. I don't think it's worth it. I guess this is more of an like a advice counter for high school in general, you know? Do what you want. Respect your teachers. Do your homework. Study because high school is easier than, easier than university, hands down. You know, that's why there's levels, that's why there's grades, because it gets harder every year. I know that our high school, um, grade 11, which is junior year, that is the hardest year out of your four. Don't know why. Probably because fast tracking, probably because of the pre-calculus routes that you could do. You're having a hard time hanging there. You need a break, go to the guidance office. But anyways, have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, hit me up. Besides that, every day is fantastic. And um, I'll see you in the next video. It's real good.